Hello, I'm Keith Elson with the Schmidt Music Trombone Shop back with another daily practice tip for you. And today I want to talk about building up our speed in lip slurs. Lip slurs are a way for us to work on developing flexibility and control through the ranges of our instruments. And one of the things we want to work on with this, of course, is building speed within this control so that we can play no matter what kind of tempo we're dealing with. When we need to be moving between these different partials, we can go whatever it might be. But learning to develop that speed and control is something that can take a very long time. It's certainly taken me a very, very long time. But there are a couple of things I've learned through my practicing that have been really helpful in developing the speed and control. The first thing that I learned that was really, really helpful is to basically not work so hard. And what I mean by that is not using the embouchure so actively. Very often when I see folks doing lip slurs, there's a ton of movement on the corners. They're doing a ton of adjustment here and it's really not all that necessary. When we're changing the registers of the instruments, there's a couple of big things that are changing. We're changing the aperture, the size of the opening here, um, which is also affecting the speed, the vibration of the lip. So the aperture within the mouthpiece is changing and we are using different air speeds and supplies to support that. We, we know this, slower, lower in the roll, lower register, faster, cooler in the upper register to help support those vibration differences. But we don't need to be doing a lot of movement here. So for the most part, I mean, when in the pedal register, I, I change a little bit more here, but for the most part, I can go from and there's not really a whole lot of movement happening there. So it's not the aperture, it's not the corners that are doing the work, it's a, it's the aperture and more importantly using the right kind of air to support that. So when I'm going through and playing through these lip slurs and starting to develop that control and speed, I'm first off thinking about my air and what's happening to it as I'm moving upwards through the lip slur. <laughs> I'm making sure that I'm hitting the gas a little bit on the air as we're going up and I'm pulling back a little bit on the bottom side. If we don't give ourselves enough support with the air on the top, we're gonna miss those notes. Vice versa, if we're using too fast of air as we're coming back down to the bottom of the lip slur, we're gonna blow our armature out of proportion and we're gonna have air balls happening. One thing we can do to really help with that, and this has made a huge difference for me, is I'll using the position of the tongue to assist this. So as I'm going through the lip slurs, I'm thinking about this air control and I'm changing my ombre, or my tongue position from a, a nice low oh, oh, oh. So it's going from from this big low O, o sound that supports that lower speed and moving up through to more of a high E sound. When we move from O to A uh, to E, that changes the position of the middle of the tongue and that helps to support these changes in the airspeed that we need. And frankly, as I start going through these faster lip slurs, <laughs> It's really just the tongue. I'm thinking about ew, 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 and change, subtly changing that position of the tongue with the air that's making a lot of the difference there. So keeping everything nice and still, not working too hard here, letting the air and letting the tongue position do a lot of the work for us. Now, once we're comfortable with that concept, how do we start building up that speed? So, you know, we can go through and just automatically start trying to do <laughs> but it's gonna probably start ending up like that where we don't have the cleanliness we're looking for. When I was in my, my undergraduate studies way back in the day, I got in really bad habits where I was not thoughtfully processing what I was doing in my practicing. I just had a daily routine. I always did the same thing, but I wasn't engaged in what I was doing. And I started developing some really, really bad habits. And one of the things I developed was I, I got my lip slurs moving incredibly fast 
but I couldn't play them at any other tempo. They, if I was trying to play them slower, they were just a mess. And so one of the things that I do in working on my lip slurs is I will go through and practice them through a range of tempos. So first thing I'm gonna do is pull out my handy dandy metronome here. And I'm just gonna take a basic lip slur just starting off in eighth notes like that. And then I'm gonna start moving through faster and faster rhythms. So start going to triplet eighth notes and 16th notes, etc. and so on and so forth there to make sure that regardless of what tempo I need to play these lip slurs at, I can do it and I can have the, the control, the smoothness, the sound, the stability that I'm looking for regardless of what tempo I'm playing at. But of course, using this as an opportunity to start building up my speed as well. So I'll, I'll start off on a tempo, you know, something that was like uh, quarter note equals 90. And so maybe every day I start bumping that up a little bit. I add another, you know, another two beats per, per minute, another four beats per minute, whatever you want, and slowly working on adding up that speed, but making sure we're not sacrificing the sound, the stability, the control, the cleanliness of these lip slurs as we are going along here. So just a couple of the ideas to start thinking about in building up your speed with the lip slurs. And again, for me, the biggest things I think about that air makes a huge difference, that tongue position makes a difference, but I'm always striving to have them as clean as possible. Yes, it's fantastic to be able to go, but I also want to make sure I want to make sure I can play that lip slur as clean, clean as I can anyway, regardless of the speed as well. The speed is just a part of our toolbox, but we need to have everything else involved with that as well. So hopefully a couple great ideas for you that are gonna be helpful in your practicing. If you have any thoughts about what you've done to develop your speed with your lip slurs, you know, any exercises you've done, any questions, please feel free to leave those with the comments here. If you haven't already done so, please check out some of the other daily practice tips that we've done here on our YouTube channel. Um, you can find those there. Again, you search Trombone Shop on YouTube we're going to come right up if you haven't already found us there. Um, you can subscribe to our channel right there. We'd love to have you as a part of our community and you can be informed when we have new videos coming out here. And of course, you can check us out on social media as well. So as always, thank you for watching. Happy practicing and please keep making music.